Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. Another team of the season Friday is today, and it is Serie A. So I'm excited to see what cards are coming out today. We've got la that loading screen right there to talk about. I want to talk about the cards and packs, the SBCs, the objectives, all the content, and how the market's going to react to that today inside of FIFA. Because again, it is a tier... A team of the season squad coming out today, but I feel like it's the lowest amount of hype. For most people on the game, the Serie A has lower levels of hype than what we saw for like Premier League, La Liga, and the Bundesliga. And it's, I think EA really needs to put out sick content this week to kind of carry this week as well and juice the cards up today. So I'm hoping to see some crazy cards today on Friday. Let's start talking about that First, the cards that we could see in packs today, of course, we have this loading screen out here showing us a couple hints on who could be in. There's been predictions, there's been guesses, and we're going to see the final team today. But I think, obviously, Cristiano Ronaldo is almost guaranteed to be in. On the loading screen, though, people are thinking this could be Insigne, Lukaku, and potentially Teo Hernandez. I think Teo Hernandez is honestly... One of the most hyped up cards uh, besides Ronaldo that could be in team of the season today. French links, 99 pace, really, really good left back that people play at center back in this game. So that's a card that people are really, really looking forward to this year. Now, this is last year's Serie A team of the season. Again, just to remind you some of the names that could be in today. Definitely not the same as last year, but a guy like Immobile should be in. Again, uh, a guy like Quadrado could be in. I don't know about Nine Golan, but Ilicic could be in. Pellegrini could potentially be in. Of course, a lot of the Piemonte Calcio players are going to get in. Uh, and, and, you know, for the other attackers, maybe Lautaro, for the other midfielders, it's, it's really interesting because I feel like the Serie A is one of those leagues where it's like, all right, EA, Put out some cards, juice them up, and, and show us what you got, right? Show us what you got. Hopefully, they do juice the cards up today. But I honestly think when they get on the market today, I want to talk about this. I feel like they're going to be rare. Just like the Bundesliga cards were last week. I mean, you had lightning rounds that were not selling out. You know, after the whole hour, you had these cards um, with only a couple pages of supply on the market and still only have a couple pages, even for the very high tier ones. Just because these guys, they're they're very rare because there weren't as many packs open. And for some reason, it seemed like EA held the pack weight back. And they made these cards rare for, for a reason. And if you guys remember last week, like Muller was very rare. Um, Coleman was very rare. So I think that's going to happen again today with Serie A. I don't think all your lightning rounds will sell out unless EA does something crazy. I know that Cristiano Ronaldo is in packs today. And this is a big topic of discussion. Cristiano Ronaldo's gold cards obviously going to be out of packs. I think this is overinvested. It might rise a little bit, but it's already risen up like 15, 20,000 coins. He's 170,000 coins. So I think this is going to be a card that honestly just drops off over the weekend because the gold Ronaldo, it's 170K. Does it have that much hype? It might have a little bit, but people have so many cards already in their team that they would rather use over gold Ronaldo at this stage of FIFA. Untradeable TOTS cards and SBCs that they've done uh, and cards they have packed from guaranteed TOTS packs and stuff. I don't see that card going crazy and going that much higher. So I think that card might be a little overinvested today. And then again, Cristiano Ronaldo being the big name today, his team of the year card that is already out, I think we could have a potential kind of like we had with uh, the Alfonso Davies team of the year card last week. I don't think Ronaldo's team of the season today is going to be 99 rated because Lewandowski did not get a 99. Messi did not get a 99. I don't think they're going to break their mold for what they're doing so far with team of the season and make this guy a 99. So I think it's going to be either another 98 or 97 Ronaldo with some different stats. They might give him 90 physical, 90 passing, and then lower his pace shooting, maybe his dribbling. I don't know what they're going to do today with Ronaldo. Um, but I think whatever it is, it's going to be cheaper than 7 mil. So I think, again, how I ex explain that Alfonso Davies situation is Alfonso Davies his team of the year card last week was 1.1 million coins. It was 1.1 mil uh, when it was first, when the team of the season was first dropped. So this card was 1.1 mil and the brand new one came out and obviously team of the season, Alfonso Davies is like 500K. So this card dropped off, the team of the year dropped off incredibly as the newer card was a lot cheaper and more supplied on the market. I think that could happen today with Ronaldo. If Ronaldo is a 97 or a 98, but has worse stats, He's going to be cheaper than his team of the year just because that's how Tots cards are. And I think that's going to make the team of the year price fall even further throughout the next week. So that's kind of my opinion on the Ronaldo. But other cards that we could see in today, I think Quadrado would be a cool one. I mean, this guy was, was hyped as one of the best left backs, or sorry, right backs 
in FIFA. I mean, if you remember this Rule Breakers card, his Inform, and this Man of the Match, this was a card that so many pros were even using with the five-star skills. It just makes for an interesting card. Hopefully, they juice up his physical. That'd be a really, really cool-looking card today if he's all 80s statistics uh, or above. If they do boost his physical up a lot, that could be a really cool card today with the Juve or Piemonte Calcio links. So that's kind of, you know, for the car, the team that's in packs today, we're just kind of like, all right, EA, EA Sports, show us what you got, right? Juice the cards up, make it hype. That's something that we really want to see today. Uh, I hope that they do that for sure. Now, content-wise, I think this is going to be a week that EA really needs to use good SBCs, big-name players, and make them affordable to really carry the Serie A team in the season. We've had insane, insane content the past few weeks with Bundesliga and with the La Liga as you see, a lot of these Bundesliga SBCs are expiring, and I really hope that today we start off with another banger of an SBC, and I think I have a big name in my mind that it could be, because especially the last few weeks, we have had some big boy flashbacks, right? Gareth Bale, Marcelo, Douglas Costa. I think today we got one of two options coming for us if they're going to keep on with this trend, and that could be Zlatan Ibrahimovic or nine goal and those are the pop probably the two most hyped up and sought after cards that could get flashbacks during this next week of Serie A team in the season now Zlatan whenever he gets a flashback card it's going to have the five star skills of course because his base card does they're going to have to juice up his pace a ton hopefully hopefully they give him an insane card today and don't go sideways on the stats because we want to see something massive now of course if a Zlatan comes out you're going to see uh, your favorite Swedish icon, Mr. Henrik Larsson, is going to go bananas on the market. People are going to buy this dude up because, yeah, he looks like a pretty decent card. Four-star weak foot, three-star skills, but it's the links to Zlatan. And also, you're going to see some other special cards from the Syria move up, like possibly this Kulusevsky is going to be a card that people are going to think about right away. Now, am I telling you to buy this right now? Absolutely not because it is already very inflated. This Kulusevsky was like 100,000 coins or less last week. He's already up almost 30,000 coins in price. A lot of your Serie A specials are up. So if you have any of these cards, like Tamori is one of them as well. Tamori and Smalling are some of the most popular investments um, from the Serie A for out-of-pack specials. They could go up today. I think these cards are invested in. And you know what? I don't know how much hype there's going to be for Serie A. So if you have any of these cards and you're making coins, I would dish them out because, again, like Ronaldo... I think there's more of a chance they go down today than that they go up. So that's just my opinion on that. I've got a Tamori I bought at 230. I'm going to try to cash him out for like 257 to 260 if he does go a little bit higher on this market. So I might try to cash him out there. Now, of course, with SBCs, we also have objective content on Fridays. Probably looking at two different cards today, just like the last couple weeks. Last week, we had a flashback and a Tots moments. This week... It could be any sort of things, but I expect two objective players, of course, one through squad battles and one through like a friendlies mode, kind of like we had last week with Bundesliga. Same thing this week with the Serie A. Now, I want to talk about something going forward into this week and just how Serie A team of the season, again, how, how we've mentioned, is not always the most hype, right? It's not the most hype league. If you think about the Prem, if you think about Ligue 1 with Mbappe and Neymar that's coming next week. And we've had some pack code that was added yesterday. And I want to talk about it because right here I'm seeing something missing. And I think not a lot of people are talking about this and this needs to be spoken about. So we had the Prime Gaming Pack that was added, a 92 plus Prime Icon Pack, which last week we had a 91 plus Prime Icon Pack. So yay, plus one rating for Prime Icons, the second best version of an icon in the game releasing at the end of May, EA Sports. Just give us Icon Moments SBCs. Please and thank you. Uh, we also had a guaranteed team of the season Serie A player. That's, of course, that SBC is going to come out later the next week. We had an Eredivisie or CSL Tots player. I'm going to talk more about that later on this weekend. I'm not convinced that it's going to be two separate teams. That's how it was in the past couple of years. But I think they might combine those two leagues to make one team and make it not as hype. So I'll talk about that later this weekend. But I'm a little worried about that. I don't think it's going to be 37 players in packs unless EA pull off a masterclass, but we will see. Now, there's something missing from it here. The last couple weeks, we have had an 85-plus La Liga pack added to the code. We have also had, last week, the 83 times 5, 83 plus times 5 Bundesliga pack. But this week, we have nothing. We also had nothing for Premier League Team of the Season added to the code like that. So, 
I'm wondering if this week is gonna be a bit more chill and low key with the SBC content, especially with the upgrade pack content. As people know, as EA know, that League One coming next week is a really hyped week. I wonder if they're gonna kind of lay off the content this week, make it a little bit less hype to kind of, you know, refresh the market a little bit and kind of reset, right? And just chill for a minute, for a minute and then release more insane content during League One. That's just a theory, but since we don't see a pack added there, that's just something I'm thinking about. I'm not entirely sure if that's going to go down that way. Of course, if they start off with a Zlatan or a 9 Golem today, that's really hype. So, you know, we, we can't just base it off of day one, or we can't just base it off that pack code. But that's just kind of my thoughts right now on this game. Now, again, speaking of SBCs, the SBC content and the SBC prices in this game are still very, very high. All of the cards we have come out had come out last week, um, in the squad building challenge section section have just made all of these fodder cards go up so much on the market Now I do think your fodder is going to drop today But again since lightning rounds aren't going to sell out I don't think it's going to be that huge of a drop off on these prices and so many people have seen the price rise of SBC cards in the past two weeks They're going to be investing today and I bet when there's more and more people investing in cards that makes me more and more leery to go in there myself and invest in some of that stuff. So if you're going to be buying some fodders, 83, 84, 85, 86 rated cards today into like during lightning rounds, I would be bidding on these and I would try to get them, you know, 84s. I would try to get it like 7K if you can, 6,000 coins. I hope they drop off a lot today because the more they drop off, the better it looks. But I think there's going to be a lot of people that will be investing in this stuff because they saw how much it went up last week. I mean, if you look at Tagliafico, for example, people are going to start buying this up because, you know, his links to all the Ajax cards. This guy was 3K. Last week, he went to 7K. He dropped back down to 5K on Saturday and boom, went to 11K this past week with all the content we had. I mean, I don't even know if people are going to let 84s go back to 5K again. They might start buying them before they get there um, because, you know, they saw all the content this week and they want to invest and they know they can make some coins if the content is going to continue to be that good. So I don't know if E is going to make insane content for a third week in a row. Right now, in my mind, I'm kind of leaning on the air side of caution. So at most today, I'd be doing a club stock, buying one, chucking it in the club. If you think they're going to have insane content this week, I really don't know if I would go on a sign. I would not be buying loads and loads of fodder. I would just be buying one or two checking on the club, checking a few on the transfer list and calling it a day there. Because again, I, this market right now is just, it's not very vibrant. I would say that it's not very vibrant. A lot of cards have hit very, very low prices. As you've seen, some of these cards have even gone back up in price a little bit like Messi team of the season was like three mil flat. And I believe he is back up right now. He's in the 3.1 range. So he's up like 100,000 coins from where he was. And some of these other, like Rashford as well, some of the high tier rare cards have gone back up a little bit again. I mean, that's partially due to just people having coins, right? People are having coins after opening, wow, 283. So Rashford's not up that much. Um, but, you know, the elite packs, top 200 packs are giving out tons and tons of coins every week. And that's making those high tier cards continue to go up a little bit. But for the rest of this market, stuff is still very, very low. And I think, especially for your abundance of Tots cards, if you have any of those in your in your team, uh, I would 100% be looking to get some of these out this weekend. These guys are probably going to drop off. Again, there's another league is coming. And as some of these guys are going to be projected to get an ultimate tots, which is coming decently soon, uh, you know, the bonus league of hype is going to kind of wear off as we have Syria coming in this week and, and today inside of FIFA 21 Ultimate Team. So a very interesting day on Friday, right? I do think these, these Serie A cards are going to be as, they're going to be rare last week, right? We got to watch the pack supply, the percentages um, to see what is going on with how packable these cards are and be watching the supply on the market today. I'm not saying there's not going to be hype cards today because there are going to be some hype cards, right? Lateo Hernandez is going to be one of them and we'll see who else EA puts out. But I, again, I just feel like this this week of Serie A may not live up to the hype that last week and the week before that did inside of Team of the Season. So I'm a little bit leery on that. But again, I've expressed my thoughts there. Good luck if you're playing the Weekend League and also good luck if you are spamming one last set of player picks. Now, I've got all these players unassigned right now because I'm doing a last full send on some of these Bundesliga upgrade packs because you know what? I'm probably not going to do that many packs during Serie A, maybe just enough to give myself a chance at packing somebody like Cristiano Ronaldo. But uh, I'm going to be 
hitting some of these Bundesliga premium packs before 6 p.m. today on Friday on the live stream. I'll be streaming live at the content drop. Make sure you check out that link down below, twitch.tv forward slash the foot accountant. We'll be there live streaming, watching the team when it comes out in packs, and of course, following the market all day. Speaking of the market, one last thing. These promo Fridays, icons have 100% been the move. Whether you're looking for like 59th minute listings of people that are selling cards or, you know, some of these just panic selling on some of these cards uh, into the content drop, I think that's going to be one of the bigger plays today. If you see panic selling um, and you're banking on the content not being that hype, seeing a bounce back is probably uh, something I think you'd be expecting, right? Expecting, especially if it's an icon that rebounded up a lot after rewards, you know, like this Butragunya was like 230, 240, and now he's up to 280. If he's back down to 240, um, you know, in the morning this morning on Friday, that's going to be something I would be interested in, right? And he's out of packs. The primes and the moments icons are the only ones in packs. Um, so that's kind of how I'd be looking at the market today. And also you could look at the 59th minute, right? People that pack icons right away, sometimes they list them up for huge undercuts because they don't know how much they go for or they just want to get their coins right away because they're just stoked that they packed an icon. That's going to be a way you could trade today on the market as well, along with fluctuation trading the brand new team of the seasons if there are some hyped ones out in the game today. So that's kind of how I'm feeling about the, the market today and the game today. Serie A team of the season. Hopefully it's a hype one, right? I feel like the ball is in EA's court once again here. Juice the cards up, EA Sports, make them look sick, and give us something to be hyped about and give us something to be excited about today on FIFA. So that's the video, boys. If you did enjoy it, smash the thumbs up on it. Comment down below if you have any questions, and subscribe if you're new. It's been Nate the Foot Accountant. I will catch you guys later. Peace out.